Uh oh, you know something has gone wrong if Reloaded is allowing me to have a series. <laughs> JLoco11 here, and those who know me know how critical I am in the mistakes Call of Duty has made over the past few years. As much as I love playing this series, it really has become unrecognizable from the installment that put the series on the map, Call of Duty 4. So over the past few months, I've been tearing Infinity Ward and Treyarch new assholes over their mistakes. But I decided it just wasn't enough to tear them a new one. I decided I need to replace that asshole that I just tore into. <laughs> so I came up with the Blueprint series, which is a concept of what I would do with Call of Duty to improve the gaming experience. The videos you're watching are all ideas I've been posting on my channel and will now bring to Yaush Reloaded. You're going to hear me say a number of things as if I'm actually creating the game, but this is just a concept for the series. I'm not creating anything. As much as I would love the opportunity to do it, this is just my concept of how to fix Call of Duty and what I would personally do if I was put in charge of the franchise. So for all the annoying shit in the game and the completely fucked up ideas that developers have given us, I present my concept of how to fix the franchise with the Blueprint series. How many of you are tired of the bullshit from Call of Duty games? How many of you are tired of the game going in the worst direction possible because they don't give a fuck about the community anymore? And how many of you think that no matter how much you hate this game, 13 year olds who get mommy and daddy to buy this game for them will always be the main reason the shit is never fixed. <laughs> well fuck it man, I'm tired of that shit and until I run my own damn video game company on how to make a proper shooting game, I might as well give Activision a detailed plan on how their two brain dead asshole developers can fix Call of Duty. Now this is going to be a long series because the fact is there's a ton of shit to fix. Unfortunately, there are certain things that will never be fixed and the shitty part is that the most unfixable garbage is what's plaguing the game every year. We know dedicated servers are not going to happen with this series, so I'm not even going to address that bullshit. Activision is far too fucking cheap to even attempt to do this shit. We know the game will always, always, always be a port from Xbox. PS3, PC, and Wii U will just have to accept this until the next generation of content. Well, Wii U is eternally fucked in that regard. <laughs> So I'm not going to talk about development and how to fix lag because this shit is never going to happen. What my series is going to address is how to fix the fucking gameplay. Holy shit, what the fuck has gone wrong in the past five years? You know, Call of Duty 4 was like the popular girl in high school. You know the one that I'm talking about, right? Head cheerleader, prom queen, valedictorian, gave hand jobs to the basketball team in the locker rooms before the game. <laughs> Y'all know the one, man. Now it's turned into fucking a trailer park mom with a kid named Honey Boo Boo. <laughs> Seriously, what the fuck is the appeal of that show? I don't fucking get it. I see ads and articles about this little fat redneck kid and her inbred family members and how popular that shit. Oh, I mean, you know what? I don't give a fuck and I don't give a shit at this point. But anyway, getting back into Call of Duty, this shit is fucked. Regardless of how improved Crap Ops 2 is, I've shown now since the release date that the game is just like every other Call of Duty before it. Same shit, different year. For every improvement they made to the game, they went ahead and fucked up something else. For every smart thing they did, they ended up going out and finding a way to do something incredibly fucking stupid to negate all the good shit that they started with and each year it gets worse each year they get further and further away from the formula that made the series successful yes i get it they need to change each year so we're not playing a reskin call of duty 4 we get that the problem is that if certain things are working don't fucking change them and if certain things aren't working you better fucking change them there are tons of things that need to be addressed and just a quick idea of what i'm going to be talking about this year we're going to be talking about stopping power the kill streaks the classification of kill streaks perks scoreboards quick scoping explosives the leaderboards the scoreboards you name it knifing is definitely going to be addressed so i got tons of videos that are going to be coming up on how to fix this motherfucker but the very first change i would make would have bobby kotick choking on his thousand dollar spoon he feeds himself every day with <laughs> my very first order of business changed the fucking engine that's right i said it bitches this fucking 10 year old engine has got to fucking go no more bullshit no more lies about being new every fucking year it's the same shit here's a little history lesson the first call of duty game was built on the id tech 3 engine back in 2003 for pc only since then, Infinity Ward and Treyarch have both used this engine every single game. They modify it each year, and then they roll out what's called a new Call of Duty engine. With every modification, obviously the engine becomes more powerful, but here's the reality. Black Ops 2 looks no different than Call of Duty 4 in the graphics department. It fucking doesn't. Shit, I can make a case that it's actually looking a little bit worse. When you consider that in the Treyarch games, dudes run with a pistol only, look like he has a dingleberry stuck in his ass, and he's trying to avoid his ass cheeks from smushing that kernel and shit. <laughs> doesn't he, man? Doesn't that motherfucker run funny when he has a pistol only? You guys can take a look at that shit in fucking zombie mode, man. Anyway, besides the point, other games that are competing with Call of Duty have gladly updated their engines. 
Battlefields, we all know when to frostbite to or whatever the fuck you want to have that. The Unreal Engine from Epic Games, and I believe that the Gears of War series is now on the Unreal 3 engine, whatever the fuck. You have the Cry Engine, which Crisis is built on. I will guarantee you, tons of companies are going to go to the Cry Engine. All these new games are using new technology. Yet Call of Duty is still stuck in the fucking Stone Age of engines. Yes, Call of Duty 4 looked great six years ago, but your competition has far surpassed you in looks and abilities. Does Call of Duty have destructible environments? No. And that fucking collapsible bridge in that frozen Treyarch DLC map two years ago in Black Ops, that doesn't fucking count. <laughs> Does it have interactive environments? Absolutely not. Does it have change in landscapes? No. Weather conditions that affect your gameplay? No. None of that shit. It has nothing the new games are coming out with. Now, I know people are going to say, well, Call of Duty doesn't need those things to be successful. That's partially true. Call of Duty has made billions rinsing and repeating the same formula each year. But how much do you think they can make by updating the series. How much do you think they could crush their competition by doing something nobody has done before? Look at how Battlefield 3 sells their game. They tout all the things that Call of Duty can't do. In particular, that Frostbite engine. They crack jokes on how Treyarch says it's not the same engine when the reality is it is the same engine. Which, by the way, Treyarch, you really need to stop lying and bullshitting to people. You're not working on a new engine no matter how much you modify it. I'll tell you right now, if I buy a motherfucking 1973 Ford Pinto and I decide to put a new engine in it one year, then a new transmission in another year, paint the goddamn thing, add power windows, body kit, throw Lamborghini doors on the motherfucker because I'm a baller like that, guess what? It's still a 1973 Ford Pinto. <laughs> you can cover a piece of shit in 24 karat gold and then bronze the motherfucker, but no matter what, on the inside, you still have a piece of shit. Stop lying about the fucking engine. It's 10 years old with Lamborghini doors on the motherfucker. That's all it is. To build a successful Call of Duty game, you have to believe in innovation. You have to want to beat your competition into submission and defeat. You can't just sit back and hope to fuck that these idiot kids will remain idiots forever and continue to buy your products and that your competitors are not going to surpass you in quality because they already have. Your competitors have already bypassed you and now you guys are relying on the idiot factor that people will continue to buy this bullshit. A new engine, especially whenever the next generation of consoles comes out, is what you need. Something that runs as smooth as Call of Duty now because let's face it, that is the main reason why people continue to play. Call of Duty runs smooth as shit. Something that mimics how well the character fluidity matches in the Infinity Ward games. I'm talking about Infinity Ward because track fluidity, that's a whole different story. You have the advantage on people when it comes to transitioning from running and gunning to aiming down sights. No company has beaten Infinity Ward when it comes to that. Not Treyarch, not Crytek, not DICE, Naughty Dog, Bungie, 343 Studios, nobody. You want an engine that mimics what Infinity Wards be able to do. You want an engine that creates lighting effects from sun glare to snow glare. You want weather conditions where fog rolls in and affects your vision. You want destructible environments. You want interactive environments, you know, where buildings are no longer fucking campgrounds, but death traps waiting to happen. It's like, you know when you call in the AC-130 and you see a building full of campers avoiding that motherfucker? How about the AC-130 bombs the shit out of the fucking building? That's what we need in this motherfucker. We need lifelike motion capturing. Real CGI motion actors capturing movement on this engine, and most importantly, above else, on this engine, you need to be the first ones on it. EA beat you on Frostbite. Unreal has already been used. Cry Engine is spectacular to look at, and Crisis is obviously going to roll out Crisis 3 on that motherfucker. You need something to rival these engines to keep you on par with them. Whether you create it in house or lease it from another company that knows more than you, but this 10 year old engine is bullshit. Having two incompetent studios pretending that modifying the engine is brand fucking new is atrocious. Get your head out of your ass. Get your hand out of your fucking wallet and move this game into the next decade already. If you want Call of Duty to be successful on PlayStation 4 or Xbox 720, whatever the fuck they're going to come out with, you better hope to hell the other studios don't surpass you in smooth and don't surpass you in getting out a quality product before you guys do. Now, people are granted are blindly going to buy Call of Duty just because it is Call of Duty. But the fact is, after six fucking years, people stop playing this game after a while. Call of Duty is seeing its lowest online playing numbers in the longest time the game has been alive. You know what that means? People are bored of the shit. They're bored of playing a six year old game that doesn't fucking change. So if you want this game to be number one again, if you want people to continue to play this 12 months out of the year and avoid playing other games and avoid buying other games, the main thing to do, the top of the list, fix the fucking engine. You need a brand new engine. You need to breathe life back into this franchise to make this motherfucker work again. Anyways, that's just part one of the blueprint. We're starting from the top and we're gonna work our way all the way through this motherfucker and fix this bitch. And of course, Activision is gonna pay attention. <laughs>
<laughs> so at the very least, at least entertain motherfuckers on how they can fix this bitch. Anyway, as always, rate, comment, subscribe, and all that good shit. Like I said, guys, we're going to have at least 10 to 15 videos on how to fix this motherfucker.